everyone. Ione here with Eve's Garden Handmade Soaps. And thank you for joining me today. I appreciate it. I'm doing my second uh, soap in a series in collaboration with Nature's Garden. And today I'm going to be using a fragrance called Applewood Fur Needle. This is a really, really wonderful fragrance. Not only is it going to be nice for through the fall and holidays and winter season, but I think a lot of people would enjoy it all, all year long. So it's really a complex fragrance, hard to describe. So I'm going to read what they have written about it. Applewood Fur Needle Fragrance Oil from Nature's Garden is crisp and exhilarating. This woodsy fragrance oil starts with top notes of fallen leaves and fresh winter air. This aroma is centered around middle notes of winter berries and fir needle. It is anchored by warm notes of applewood and cedar. That is a good description because it smells really like all of those things. I really, really like it and I'm going to enjoy using it today. Let me get my gloves on now and we'll get to making some soap. I'll tell you what I'm going to do as we go along. Okay, I'm going to be doing a leafy design soap today. <laughs> I thought that, that would be great for the fall and through Thanksgiving. And the colors will be so pretty. I think people will even love it to give us gifts during the holidays. So I'm going to be doing that. And I'm going to be using coconut milk in this recipe. Also, I've got cocoa, uh, coconut oil. Um, lard, olive oil, soybean oil, castor oil, sweet almond oil, and cocoa butter in this recipe. And I'm soaping at about 90 degrees. So let's get started. I'm just going to whip it together right now. And then I'll be back after I portion out the colors. The first color I'm going to do is a red, and I made this with a concoction of reds. And then I put a little uh, Cellini Red Mica in here. Now that is going to go orange as it cures. And so I compensated with a little pink, but I think I've got it a little too pink. So I'm going to put a little more red in here. My concoction that's made with... Uh, red oxide and merlot mica and electric bubble gum okay then i'm going to do a gold and i made this with fizzy lemonade and some gold mica when it's sort of a yellow gold i think i'm going to add a little more color to this one too I'm making a green, which I've added a little bit of gold mica to because I don't want it to be a spring green. I want it to be a fall green. <laughs> and a brown, which I made with a little brown oxide and cappuccino mica. Now to my base color, I'm going to add white. And this is with uh, 
titanium dioxide and white mica. The fragrance oil description and uh, information says that the maximum usage rate is 22%. That's really high. I usually don't go that high. I am using it at around 10%. And it says it does not discolor. There's no vanillin in it. And it says it's not supposed to accelerate. So, <laughs> I haven't used it before, so it will be an experiment for me. And if all goes well, I'll be very happy. I'm going to put the fragrance oil in now and see how it does. Oh, that smells really nice. Very outdoorsy, but with a, a sweet note to it as well. I don't see any rising. I'm going to leave it sit here for a little bit and see about accelerating. It's very thin yet, so if I have to stick blend it, uh, I will. But hopefully, just by leaving it sit a little while, these will thicken up on their own. Well, I am very pleased with how this fragrance oil is behaving so far, although I think we are having a little acceleration going on. So I am going to be working a little quicker, and I don't think I'm going to need to do any stick blending at all. Let me check my uh, other colors and see how they're doing. Oh my goodness, totally thickened up. Well, I would say this fragrance oil definitely accelerates. So let me get my mold over here so we can get this in and hopefully get the design we want.
So um, I'm all done putting the soap in the mold now and with my recipe it uh, accelerated very fast so um, I guess it just depends on what recipe you use. I did get it all in the mold I don't know how it's going to turn out but I did make these um, little leaves to go on the top of the bars here these little um, leaves here. So I'm going to put them on top of each bar and then give it a little bit of a, maybe a little bit of glitter just to sparkle it up a bit. And then um, this soap is going to go in the refrigerator. Since I use titanium dioxide, I don't want any glycerin rivers in it. So in a couple days, we'll come back and see what we've got. I'm going to be on pins and needles <laughs> until I get it cut and see what it, it is inside. So I will put the leaves on now and then join you back again when uh, the soap is ready to cut. Hello everyone, I'm back. First I need to apologize, I did not do a cutting video. And the reason for that is because I didn't think these soaps were going to turn out. <laughs> After that, batter thickened up the way it did, and I was like trying to uh, get the hanger through before, <laughs> while I still could on each uh, little part. I what, just didn't think they were going to turn out. But after I had them cut and looked at them, I sure was pleasantly surprised. I really, really like them. I think they're so pretty. And I can see leaves in here and foliage, autumn colors, just perfect for this scent. I love this scent, by the way. I, I'm going to keep a bar of this for myself because I love it so much. This applewood fir needle. I can smell all of the um, notes in there that the description talked about. Just beautiful. So, uh, these soaps will be available in November. 
before uh, Thanksgiving time. So they'll be perfect for hostess gifts or for a holiday gift. Or just if you want one because you love these types of scents as well, then get one for yourself. I highly recommend it. And if you want to make your own soap with this scent, then um, the link is in the description box. That's all for this video. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We'd really appreciate that. And leave a comment. I love reading your comments. So, goodbye for now, and I'll see you for next time.